how do I do this? Wait. Oh. Close your eyes. Don't you guys throw up. <sighs> I want everything. Alright, hey everybody. Sorry the last video was kind of depressing. I was just feeling really sad that day and it's hard to like go back through everything and talk about it. But today, a lot better. It's Saturday, the day before Easter, and it's the anniversary, the one week anniversary, of me falling on the stairs and going to the hospital. So, let's celebrate. I am going to make a celebratory deep dish pizza, or a pan pizza, not a deep dish. Slightly different things. Make a pan pizza, mainly because I don't think I can make like a regular New York style thin crust pizza right now because I can't use both hands to stretch the dough. It's still going to be a challenge, but let's just have fun with it. It'll be cool. Uh, I'm going to put some of my favorite toppings on it. I'm out shopping right now. I have to go to a few different stores to get everything. Got to get the right ingredients to get the best taste. Um, and then we'll start cooking. This should be fun, right? Let's try it. Hopefully it'll work out. All right, so we are going to start with making a sauce for this pizza. Uh, I got these kind of old tomatoes that we're going to get too nasty if I don't use them to make a sauce. So let's put those just in the blender. It's going to be a super simple no-cook sauce. I want to make it right away so it has some time to rest the flavors come together. I'm going to throw these anchovies in here and throw no other salt in this. No kitty. The anchovies are not for you. They right, are delicious. We're going to throw in a clove of garlic. I don't know if garlic paper is good for you, kitty. Actually, let's make that two cloves of garlic. This is all a bit harder with my disabledness, slightly disabledness. Recovering from surgery and a broken arm, broken, dislocated arm, technically. Okay, two cloves of garlic. I'll dunk off it. Cool. And what else? We're gonna put in some crushed red pepper. I want this to be a little spicy. Italian seasoning. A little bit of extra umami from just this double concentrated tomato paste. I want it to be a little bit smoky, so I'm going to add in some liquid smoke. Let's give that a blend and see how it is, see if it needs anything. Oh, you know what? It probably does need a touch of olive oil. The tomatoes will have plenty of like water in it to help it mix up, but just a little bit of oil. It looks pretty. Mmm. That is fresh and insanely delicious. Now that there's some room in there, I'm going to add this fresh basil. If I can open it. What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, this smells so good. Back on the blender. Holy cannoli. All right, that is going in the fridge just to rest until we're ready to make the pizza. I'm probably about two or three hours from actually making my pizza right now. I'm just prepping all the toppings, and then I'm going to go run an errand to let that rest even longer and to get some gifts for my wife to show my appreciation for how well she has cared for me. Uh, when I had my accident, since I've had my accident, she's been amazing, helping me bathe, washing my hair. That was crazy. I had my like back on the floor of the bathroom. 
feet up against the door, you know, it's a small bathroom, and then neck up against the, the like, edge of the tub, so my hair was hanging back in the tub. She stood in the tub and washed my hair, you know, that's, that's a real one. Got me the best one. Okay, now we gotta shred some cheese. I already have the cheese shredder out. I wanted to mix um, some mozzarella with some provolone. That would be yummy. So let's start with this somehow. Uh, how do we open this with one hand safely? You know what? No one is the friend of the disabled. The scissor, which I have kitchen scissors somewhere. Where are my kitchen scissors? Shears. They look like garden shears. I mean, I guess they could be both, but I keep them clean like kitchen ones, so it doesn't really matter. Come on, let's find a, oh yes, thank God. Yeah, let's try some of this. Mmm, 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 that is so good. I love me a sharp provolone. Excuse me, I've been taking laxatives because, you know, um, I'm on pain medication and pain medication makes it hard to poop. So you got to take some laxatives to help you out, but it does have that side effect. I wish my wife was here. She's on a little vacation visiting her family right now. I had to basically like insist that she not cancel it because she was so worried since I had my surgery just a few days ago. But I didn't want to miss out on her family fun because I mean, I didn't want to feel like her to feel like she's, you know, trapped giving care to a an invalid, but she loves when I'm making a dish and there's cheese and there's always extra cheese. So I'll go ahead and bring her some on like a little plate or in a bowl and season it up with some like powdered garlic and fresh cracked pepper and olive oil and stuff for if, it, if that goes with it. Come on. The just soft, subtle flavored mozzarella, so creamy. will give us the texture we want on top of the pizza and it will balance that sharp provolone. This will be really interesting. This is how the pros clean up. I also want some red onion on this pizza, so we're gonna do that really simply with uh, the mandolin here. I've been finding the mandolin is the friend to disabled, though you have to be careful, use your guard so that you don't mess up your other hand too. Cool. That was quick. I'm just gonna stack these and kind of cut them in half. And then we'll do quarter. Great. We have pepperoni, a spicy cup pepperoni, pre-sliced. This is my favorite pepperoni I've found locally so far. It is very spicy and it makes a nice Cup on your pizza. Also, I have some of my ranch already made, left over from a salad. We're gonna use that after the pizza comes out of the oven. Little dollops around, that'll be really nice. I'll put the link down below to the recipe for that ranch. Okay, <coughs> the, pepper, the pepperoni got me. <coughs> the pepperoni got me. Okay, now I gotta go get one ingredient I forgot, which is I want some artichoke hearts. Got to run an errand to get some gifts for my wife. And we're going to let that sauce meld, the flavors meld in the fridge. And then we'll make our pizza with our dough, which has been sitting out all day, rising. I had it rest in the fridge for a couple days, so it develops some more fermentation-y flavors. And it should be delicious if I can spread it out with one hand into our cast iron pan. We'll see how that goes. Okay, it's been a couple hours, so let's get assembling our pizza. Got our dough, got our nice clean cast iron. First thing we're gonna do though, is get some butter. Use a nice butter, flavor matters. I like this cake stuff, or plugra. That stuff's good too, however you say it. Italian seasoning. Mm. 
and some garlic powder. And I'm just gonna microwave this to soften the butter because I didn't have it sitting out, it was in the fridge. We're gonna get this butter soft and then we're gonna use it to coat the pan. That's how you get that, you know, Pizza Hut, buttery, crispy crust that you remember from when you were a kid reading books to get uh, personal pan pizzas. Okie dokie. It smells amazing because it's Italian garlic butter. All right, now let's try to get this out of here with one hand. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Spread it out. Okie dokie. So we are making this kind of Detroit style. So we're gonna start with some toppings first. Okay, they didn't slice that one right. That'll be a snack. Ooh, pepperoni. I have been standing way too long today and this like shoulder thing is digging into me. I walked 17 miles wearing this yesterday. Today I've walked 15 or 16 miles so far. 15.81 miles so far. I don't want too much pepperoni. Normal floor pepperoni. Cat hair on it. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Too much shit is happening to me. I'm gonna go with the flow now. Red onion. I love red onion on pizza. I love red onion with pepperoni. This is gonna be a spicy pizza. Oh God, this is... should I open these artichokes with my oily hands? Sorry, kitty. I'm not doing that to scare you. Ayo. Yeah, I can't use my hand to like hold things and twist. I found out it hurts really bad, but I can put things in between my knees to open bottles is a trick I figured out yesterday. I like to break up my artichoke so it's not just like a big clump. That wouldn't be very fun. It's like my dream pizza. Mm. I love artichoke. Got our mozzarella and provolone mix here. Let's put a lot of cheese on here. Kind of tuck it in around the edge. That's how you get the nice lacy edge. And then we put the sauce on top. Okay, now we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees and we'll put this in here probably for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, you know, you just gotta be your own judge. Jesus, it's heavy and I can't use two hands. So I gotta get under it. Cool. This is not safe. All right, 45 minutes and we'll be eating or waiting 10 to 20 minutes for it to get cold enough. Okay, I think the pizza's done. It ended up going for about an hour. Uh, fuck. Shit. Shit, how do I? Oh my God, it's so heavy. I have to start working out my one arm because I can only use one arm to lift anything. And this is so heavy. 
Jesus. Uh, I didn't think through how to get this out of the pan. Before I, when I had two arms, you know, I would like tilt it and then pop it out with the spatula. Look at that laciness, that's what I wanted. Looking golden brown underneath. Hmm. How do we do this, Miso? How do we do this? Improvise, adapt, overcome. Hey, come on, baby. If I get you loose enough, wait. Why did I touch that with my fucking hand? Quick. Okay, not bad. Didn't break it. I mean, maybe a little bit right there. That's okay. Look how hot that is. It's pretty. Excuse me, buddy. So is this a burnt cat hair coming out of my pizza? Why, buddy? Okay, we're gonna put this ranch on. I didn't want to cook the ranch on it. I didn't think it would come out nicely, but I think putting it on hot right out the oven will be good. Smear that a little bit. Beautiful, and we have more if we want to per slice. I'm gonna let this cool for like probably 10 minutes, maybe a little bit more because it's thick. It smells amazing. The ranch is starting to smell amazing now. Actually, let's go ahead and cut it because that's another problem. <laughs> mm. Will this work? I can't. I know, buddy, I'm struggling, but there we go. Watch out. Can't push down on it with two. That's a juicy pie. Okay. Well, that... Kind of looks like a mess, but it smells delicious. No, this isn't for kitties. Miso, this is not a kitty pizza. This is a human pizza. Your dinner time is in 45 minutes, okay? And my dinner time is like in 10 minutes. Come on. Gently, let me gently. Will you get down on your own? Boop. No, you won't. You want pizza. Buddy, yeah, there you go. Why am I rewarding you for bad behavior? I'm a bad parent. Okay, it's time to try some za, but I know it's gonna heat me up, so I'm gonna grab. Grab an ice pack real quick. Put it in this little sleeve. Let's pick this up at Target for like six dollars or something. The other ice packs they had were like 20, 30 bucks. Crazy. But this fits perfectly into my sling here. And rest it against my arm. Help keep me cool. Cause it's like wearing a crazy thick sweater, you know, on my arm and the heat can turn into itchiness and makes me feel trapped and have panic attacks and I don't like that. So there we go. Okay, let's give her a go. Look at that. Look, you can see the pepperoni layer on the bottom. Do you see that, Miso? Do you see the pepperoni layer on the bottom? She's holding up well. The crust is golden brown and beautiful. Probably could have even done it a little bit longer, but I'm happy with it as it is. Mmm. Such a delicious flavor symphony. The cup pepperoni, even when layered under stuff, still cups. Pepperoni. 
pepperoni, red onion, artichoke heart. Delicious together. Our simple sauce, so tasty. I used up a lot of leftover ingredients in my fridge, so I always love cooking that way because I do not want to waste things. I don't like throwing ingredients away. And then the little bit of the smattering of ranch gives it like a little funky, that, um, what's the uh, ingredient I'm thinking of right now? The tangy, the buttermilk. The buttermilk in the ranch gives you that kind of funky kick in there. Mm. And the crispy edge from the, the cheese that I tucked down around it, if you remember that, you gotta have the cheese on the edge. Some people will say it looks burnt. It's not burnt. It's beautifully caramelized and crispy. And it tastes like heaven and it gives you that texture contrast to the nice fluffy dough. I love pan pizza. Mm. You okay, buddy? This is a wonderful end to a busy day. It makes me feel good to be able to do things just in general. My wife is away for the weekend visiting family. So I've had to be completely independent, walking, getting groceries. I walked like 16 miles today. So I'm happy with that. Um, the only real problem is this strap kind of starts to make my right shoulder hurt after a while. And of course I get pains in my, um, my arm, but I'm progressively using less pain medication, which I'm happy about. Well, I'm using less Percocet, the, um, you know, the opioid pain medication. I'm only taking one today. I took one in the morning before I went on the walk. I'm probably taking more ibuprofen, but that's okay. I'm glad to be tapering off that. It does make you very stopped up. I've had to eat a lot of fiber. Mm. I love you, buddy. Your puppy. And we'll get you your dinner after this. His dinner's at 8 o'clock right now. It's like 7.30, 7.40, I think. 7.32. And for some reason, it's only been recently, like in the past couple of months, he's been super interested in my pizzas, be they pan pizza or thin crust. He'll always try to get some. I don't know why. Mm. I know pizza is generally like a salty food. And cats like salt, maybe that's it. He also loves any like crunchy snack flavored with like a cheese powder. If you happen to bring him some Cheetos, he will go crazy trying to get them. Um, Cheez-Its, oh my God. We had um, those like extra toasty Cheez-Its. Those are my wife's favorite. She picked some up the other day when she was out getting, you know, post-surgery treats for me because she's amazing. And we opened up the box of uh, extra toasted extra toasty Cheez-Its. And he came at it like a crackhead, didn't you, buddy? He was just rushing us and going, row, 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 and he, you know, paws at your hand trying to get it, tries to stick his head in the box. Just a silly dude. Hey, Sammy fam. Sorry about the video cutting out. I made a stupid mistake. Honestly, my brain's pretty foggy right now. I'm not sure if it's the drugs or if it's the uh, lack of sleep. Probably a little column A, a little column B. But you didn't miss too much of the last five minutes of the video. I mean, I did say some incredibly wise things and some, some great, interesting stories, but you're just gonna have to trust me on that. So go ahead and hit the like button and if you aren't subscribed, subscribe already. 
Thank you guys for watching. I have more cooking and eating videos to come, and I'll keep you posted on how my recovery is doing.